We are in Frankfort, Kentucky. And this is the capital city of the state of Kentucky. It's a very, very small city. In fact, it is the fourth smallest capital city of all of the states. The local vendors have gotten together in a concerted effort to keep out all of your massive big box stores like your Walmarts and your Best Buys, knowing they're gonna lose everything. So it's another great example of community at work in a beautiful city right here in the U.S. of A. This is Capitalism 2012. As a young town, Frankfurt grew and became, because of it was the capital, a rather thriving community. But as time went on, as the community began to spread outward, opening up sections in the south and the east and north and west, consequently, a lot of people left the downtown. So the downtowns began to see places where the stores were empty. And it took a while, but we had some very serious business merchants in our community about 25 years ago that said, let's really get behind and try to make downtown Frankfurt operative again. So now we have a lot of shops and a lot of stores, antique stores, uh, marvelous little unique restaurants. Most communities have these, but it seems like in Frankfurt, things are really happening. The Poor Richard's Bookstore is one that when you go inside, you feel like, boy, this is an independent store. Poor Richard's started about 35 years ago. So uh, we've been here for some time, doing well. And then we bumped into uh, uh, Amazon, the Kindle, the recession, but we're still here. Buying local keeps more dollars in your community. Paying on the internet for something supports absolutely nothing in the community. Sometimes not even collecting sales tax for your state. We, we want to have a place to go to, have a bookstore to come to, a coffee shop, uh, restaurants but we're not gonna be able to keep those things if we don't support them. I think we have a different vision here. I think we do want to keep our community. When I first started this business in about 1991, it was a good solid business. As the years went on, seeing a lot more corporate restaurants come to the outskirts of town. Even there is a subway downtown now and that really greatly affects all small businesses in that uh, they have greater buying power, greater advertising budgets. In regard to uh, competing against corporate, which does take their money out of town, I have always approached uh, the business with a value added, meaning that we buy local meats. We buy seafood in this country only, not China. We buy a lot of local stuff. We buy from the farmer's market. The idea of getting people into downtown historic Frankfurt to shop with the local businesses does take a coordinated effort. And this is yet again another example of a community coming together with common purpose to strike back against the big guy and win. This is when America is at its best, when Americans are working together. Soon, I'm gonna be on stage here in Frankfort, Kentucky. This is my first time ever doing a show in this city. I'm looking forward to it. After it's over, we're gonna get on the road and we're gonna to go to Jackson, Mississippi for the next show on the Capitalism 2012 tour.